So, second and third thing like Kampi. And some was very polite, you know, told the Prabhu. I know that you have no desire any worldly thing. Always you are engaged in sadhana kali. How to maintain this family? Now you are family person. So you should look after. Otherwise we will die. So I want that. I know that Sri Hari, the king of Varka, has so much affluences. And his Brahmanya Dev, very, very much honor for Brahmins. And you are not only Brahmin, Brahman and also friend of Dwarka Dev. I want you to go there. Don't beg anything from him. He will see and automatically he will give you everything. And she requested again and again. So, he was now thinking that, what should I do? I should go to Dwarka and break something? Or I mean, tell him, oh, that I can. But she is requesting again and again. So, I must go there and the fruit will be there. What? Or take the darshan of, oh, not Dwarka, she is only. The Supreme Lord. Anyhow, this will be my fortune. So I must go. But I will never break anything. No money, no sampan, no nothing. It is actually. And then comes that, oh, oh, but Arya, Arya, and this is Indian. Eh? Address, Arya. Oh. <coughs> you should give me something, presentation that I may give him. Because it is the rule regulation process that if anyone goes to any friend, he should take something, presentation. So, I want some. Can you give me? Oh, she saw that nothing was there in his house. Nothing, totally nothing. No mice are even there. <laughs> Where mice? Oh, no mice. <laughs> so, she went to others, never us, and she picked something. Broken rights in Vishay, like who they mean means who, broken rights. You are so rich you don't know what is, <coughs> but we know. <laughs> so, and she binded it in any dirty cloth, piece of and he took and he went to Dwarka. From morning he was walking, walking and in the evening he reached there. Oh, by the help of a stick. And he reached Dwarka and he went to go. Oh, each prince of Krishna Sixteen thousand one hundred eight queens. Good palaces. Where to go? Where now Krishna? How we can search him? So he went first. But he did Dori, second, third, fourth. Dori. In King's castle, so many 
vanishes. So he crossed first, second, third. But now he was thinking where to go. Then he asked anyone, and he told, Oh, you must go to Rukmini house, Rukmini palace. He may be there. And they took him. When he went to the door, how far, far away Krishna was in the palace of Rukmini. He saw. And at one seven, waving and embraced. There was so much <coughs> in, in his feet, cracks. Also dirty was there. Cloth not well dirty. Because he was poor. No need was there. But he was the richest person. Why? He had no desire. Those who are like like the president of America, what? Moses, most poor person. <laughs> Why? He has so many desires. So many desires. Also, before him, Clinton, the most poorest person. <laughs> Myself, the richest person. Maharaja. <laughs> My desire comes in the <laughs> Oh, anyone can give, you cannot give in this world. My Guru Dev and what to Thasar, all that, Guru Parampara, they can give. So, but he was externally poor, looks like poor, but he was not poor, because he had no desire at all. I request you all that you don't have any money in your life. Other will be cheated. Don't have any desire. Only desire to serve Krishna. By this you can be otherwise. So he has yeah, no desire. So Krishna embraced him and took him to the palace of Rukmini. And as an elder brother, he respected, he honored so much. And he told that you should sit here and do him sit here. Now, this poor Brahmin, dirty cloth and so on, and he sat on the palanquin of Arukhi, not so many palanquin. And Krishna baby brought water pot and water. Oh, very fragrant. And with tea and mixing, he was the feet of that ground. The twins came there and saw that what doing this Krishna? What relation? And he is washing Krishna's feet. They began to with Chama. Oh. And they were looking. After washing. And Krishna gave Kambur Vidika. Kambur Vidika, you know, better than him. And he gets so many things. And very delicious preparations he offered. And with love and affection he was, oh, more the chutney, the malpua, ghee, and so many things he was giving. After that he messaged his people. Talking so many things. Now this Brahmin has some doubt. Whether he recognizing me that I am that very poor Sudhama uh, studied in the Gurukul Arno. So Krishna, Krishna knew this, his doubt. 
and began to tell us, Oh my dear Sakha, you remember that one day when it was a rainy day and also very cold day, there was no dry wood for cooking. So God Mother said that you should bring and we went in the forest and oh it began to rain very heavily. We collected some food but there was so much rain that everywhere water and water, ocean of water, flooded so much that we can, could not decide that where, how much water is. So whole night we washed, taking the heap of bamboo of sticks on the head, both, oh, trembling, so cold. When morning came, sun came, Oh, Guru Dev came, Sant Dev Oh, my dear sons, where, where Krishna and Sudama, where you are, where you walk? And they told, Oh, we are here. Why you are here? And then he came here. And he was weeping and told that, Oh, I am very much satisfied. A disciple should serve Guru Dev like this. And the disciples who serve his Guru Dev like this. You have served me, I am now satisfied. All, all learning of Veda, archery and 64 kinds of arts, all should come in your heart. And you should be perfect. And he did like so and everything. And automatically. You remember? Oh, I remember. <laughs> Oh. Then he doubt when all night talking and it became morning. Oh, Sudama so told that, oh my green will is waiting for me. Now I should. I'm very happy to meet you. You remember everything. So I want to return back to my home. Just told that, oh very good. He gave nothing. Oh, one thing. I did forget. And after, before taking prasad, he told to Sudama, my dear Sakha, I know that my sister, sister in law, sister in law, Bhabi, has sent something for me. And you have brought. But why you are not giving? Uh, Gita Shlok. Patram Pushpam Param Toyam Jene Pratya Vyachati Prajata. Who has love and affection for me? Even flowers, even leaves, anything he gives. But from Pushpam, Halam, Toyam, even water, he gives with a lot of attention. I very happily dissatisfied, I take it. But I don't take those who have false ego, like Lord Jonathan and others. And I quarrel and possibly I take from devotees, like Mahaprabhu took. From Sridhar So he told, so I like you this presentation. And possibly he took from here, 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 and he took. And he took one handful. One handful he took. And one second he was going to take all oh, Rukmini. Don't take. What you give? You have given everything. Now you want to give us to? <laughs> so you should continue. And he was. Sudama was seen. 
But he never get anything. After that, they slept. And in morning he told that I want to go return back. He came with Brandon up to border. He followed. And he gave nothing a single price hardly. But he was thinking, oh, my Prabhu is so ashamed that he never gave me a pardon to me. Other, I will give have so many faults. Eh? So he is very kind to me. And thus thinking, thinking, he came to his house in the evening. And he was such in his house. Where is my house? Oh, my house was here. But here, oh, 16,000 eight palace, one palace in the And so many demand, demand Airplanes are here, very glittering of gold and diamonds. And so many, I have had one cow, like old. And now I am saying, calm then. So many. Also I see her. Elephants, horses and all everything. Why it can? Why? Each queen of Krishna gave yeah, one man to one one elephant, so many elephants, so many horses, so many cows, so many chariots, so many oh, aeroplanes and so many. And cows come then. What became of his wife? A wife became very ten years old. Ten years old. Very beautiful. Most beautiful. And thousands and thousands of men servants we expert in everything. And now she became old. So who, who was now old? Now she became old. How will it be? Krishna gives if anyone wants to live. But he get much more than he wanted. He never wanted this. But he gave. But so he was now thinking what he began after that. He was begging, Oh Krishna, I will forget you. So he had no taste for all these things. As he was before, he was without entangled in all these things. And he was doing by the light before. When he came there, his wife with so many sakis, dashi, nectar, she came, well decorated, very kishori. She came with a pot to Arati. And he was saying, who are they? His wife recognized him because he was in the same state, form. But he could not because for not change. Now she was so beautiful. So, oh, when they were coming nearby and he was going by. Why they are coming to me? Because they not to recognize and after that she embraced him and the other thing. Then he knew. She told that oh, I am your same wife. Oh, now when she embraced and he became also. Then he was begging bitterly that oh Krishna how you be? How you be? Miracle. You get so much. How I will digest? I will forget your God. But anyhow, he never forget. He was like same as before. I told that Jai Jathan Man Prabhupada, the Krishna gave so much. But you know, Krishna sent some ornaments through Nand Baba to Jasoda Mother. And what began? Oh, always reminding Krishna, she used to wake me up. Oh, Krishna cheated me, cheated us. He 
they are sent ornaments by ornaments of Vasudeva and Devaki Hari purchased Krishna. Krishna and thus they came on so these ornaments and wealth cannot satisfy any bhakta of Krishna he cannot give anything in to repay gopis you know one uh, lady of Mathura Kupya she was very attached to Krishna when she saw Krishna took his what? Chanda. And for this what he gave? Oh. She became very all oh, she took like this and she became oh, very beautiful. But she wanted to enjoy with Krishna. Permanent Krishna. Perfect big Krishna. And that is why she came in like Naika. What kind of Sadharani Naika? Not like Gopi Samasma. Huh? Oh, if anyone wants to serve Krishna but desires to enjoy himself, then that devotee is not. Any gopis, they have no worldly desire or anything from Krishna. And Krishna cannot repay them. But for Tukya, oh, she wanted something. For her. So she is not qualified like that. Even not like her. When? We should know that. Okay. These friends, even Sudama Prem is not perfect. It is not our object. Because Krishna gave him so much thing. But God is there. So we should know. Our object should be what? Prem Priyujan. But Prem like Gopi. So having this object, we should try to follow the process. From tomorrow, we will explain the process. Adhu Sarka. Sadhu Sarka. Bhajana Kriya. Anartha Nupriti. And this. From tomorrow. From Bhajana Kriya. Go Pranam.
I should not see these things. Look at her. I need to control my mind. I must leave this place. I'll go immediately. Oh no. would not leave his mind. He wanted to forget it. He wanted to carry on with Safik, peaceful and civilized life. But that poison which had entered into his heart through his eyes was so powerful, he could not control it. In the same way that the sun and the moon are eclipsed by a low planet, he became weak and lost all his good sense. Oh, 
Yeah. 
for those acting under the modes of material nature. Therefore, everyone, all living entities, are punishable! Yamaraj were baffled and defeated by the Vishnu Dudas. They fled to their master in a bewildered state. Being filled with anger and disappointment, they addressed their Lord and Master, the Lord of Death. Demigods. But now we have seen that your order 
stopped by four extraordinary, perfect persons. Tell us why this happened. Soon, a sinful Osmil, under the name Nirai, four beautiful men appeared and cut the rope which we were going to drag the sinner to hell. Please describe who they are. My dear servants, you have accepted me as the Supreme. But it's actually, I am not. Above me, and above all other demigods, is the divine Supreme Controller, Lord Orion. The Supreme Personality of Godhead has his form, his qualities, and his features. And in the same way, his order carriers have form and characteristics similar to his. These order carriers protect the Vaishnavas from enemies, from envious persons, and even from my jurisdiction. The greatly sinful Ajmiu chanted only to call his son. But because he chanted the holy name of the Lord, he was immediately saved from the ropes of death. How glorious, how powerful is this Nam Sankirtan? Generally, one who is always chanting never commits sinful activities. But if by mistake, or because he is covered with illusion or bewilderment, he does commit sinful acts. Because of his chanting, he is protected from the sinful reaction. My dear servants, only bring to me those who fail to use their tongue in this chanting of the holy name, who fail to remember the Lord within their heart, and who fail to bow down even once before the Lord. Bring to me all such fools and rascals. But my dear servants, be warned. Despite what you have done in the past, if you again disturb the Vaishnavas, you will be crushed by the club of Lord Vishnu. What to speak of you if I, or even Lord Brahma, attempted to punish them? We would be punished. My dear children, you have committed a great offense. And because I am your master, I am also responsible. O oh my Lord, O oh Master, because of our ignorance, we failed to see Ajamil as your devotee, and thus we have committed a great offense. My dear Lord, we stand before you with folded hands. Please forgive us. You are very merciful and filled with all good qualities. We bow down at your lotus feet. After hearing from the mouth of their master about the extraordinary glories of the Lord and his holy name, the Yamadutas were struck with wonder. Since then, as soon as they see a devotee, they fear him and dare not look at him again. Because of a moment's association with the Vishnu Dutas, Ajmiya gave up all material attachment and went to Hardwar. There he took shelter in the temple of Lord Vishnu and he began to execute the process of bhakti yoga. Ajamil controlled his senses and fully applied his mind to the service of the Lord. When his intelligence and mind were fixed upon the form of the Lord, the Brahmana Ajamil once again 
saw before him four celestial persons. He could understand that they were those he had seen previously, and thus he offered his obeisances by bowing down before them. Upon seeing the Vishnu Judas, Ajamil gave up his material body and regained his original spiritual body. Accompanied by the order carriers of Lord Vishnu, Ajamil boarded an airplane made of gold. Passing through the airways, he went directly to the boat of Lord Narayan, the husband of the goddess of fortune. Because this very confidential historical narration has the potency to vanquish all sinful reaction, one who hears or describes it with faith and devotion is no longer doomed to hellish life, regardless of his having a material body and regardless of how sinful he may have been after giving up his body, he returns back home, back to Godhead. Now, why he began? 
for Vaishadu Sangha. Vaishadu for Vishnu Guru. Vaishadu. And they initiated him by that one. That name. One name, even Namabhasa has said, Dude, so you should try to do pure name. He wanted to speak something and to touch their feet. Uh, at once then, but when we came to Hardwar and took bath in Ganges daily and doing bhajan sadhan, Narayan, 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 Om Bhagavate, like that, Narayan. And after that, some time, oh, full pure men came. At once he was liberated. He left his body. And at once, Pardut again came. And he, they told that he, now you are qualified to go to Vaikuntha. He told, I want some question to solve my question. You should do. At first time, hearing your dialect, I wanted to touch your feet, but you disappeared. And now you are coming to take it. Narayan Bhaikund. Oh, they told that. At that time you were not pure. Your body was not transcendent. Now your all kinds of things, even anath has come. Now you are Purify. Now you can come. And they took him. By one pure name, anyone can go to Narayana. But it is not sufficient to go to Guru Bandavan. No. You will have to start Gopis or any of the Prajivashi. No. And then. Very difficult to do. Is it there? No. But one name is there. It is not very easy. Right? So try to first follow Ajami. Don't do sins, but chant name of God. More better you should follow Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and try to follow Goswami's Raghunath and very easily by chanting, doing kirtan, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Before who told, uh, jumped all to the experiment, don't go to a place where Hare Kirtan is going on. Don't touch a person who has taken negatives and chanting. Don't. Those who have once did pranam, pranam to Thakuji, don't go there. When he is worshipping, don't go there. Those who are taken in bath in Ganges, Jamuna, and chanting, don't go in that area in Be hundred miles, thousand miles away from that place. So you should know. Those who are Serving Tulsi, don't go there. So you should have a very strong faith in these things. And follow this Siddhant and do that. I made one request to Siddhant Prabhu that he should play the drama of Prahlad Maharaj. Though time is very short, but yet you can do. So on Sunday you should play last week. If all your play, players you should come, I will give sweets. You uh, ask those who have not paid their festival fees to please approach either Govindadasi or himself to pay for the fees. We see that a Jamil it started out with something small, like not paying your festival fees and it just... <laughs>
this snowball into what we see there. So we just have to be very, very cautious in our dealings. So um, make sure you pay your festival fees or a few years down the line you can find yourself in the same position as John. This is not to scare you. This is just to tell you we know who you are. We can tell how the way you walk in the halls, the way you try to avoid those that charge the festival, the way that you avoid eye contact, all of these things together we can see that those people are not paying the festival fees and um, we're not happy. <laughs>